so sorry about yesterday. Yeah, you know, so. yeah. no, no, it's, it's excuse I, me. Ice the water. Oh, thank you. No, I don't. I don't care. I'm just really glad to see you. I'm glad to see you too, Sam. So, are you just coming from work or something? No, it's it's Saturday. No, uh, yeah, um, it's just you dress so formally. Oh, oh no, it's um, you know, I just thought it'd be a special occasion, which it is. So. Yeah, yeah, no, um, it's good. Thought I'd get dressed up too. No, it's it's fine. You look fine. No, no, um, the Hoyt cuisine department. So. What? Nothing. Oh, so have you been? I'm fine. Um, how's how's Rudy? Oh. <laughs> yeah. I think I got a postcard from Alaska. Yeah, um, I was I was in Alaska for for a while. That was in the fall, so. Um, you know, um, I've been a lot of different places. I was on, uh, I was in Orlando, mm -hmm. in Florida, for for a little while. I was doing some um, some work down there, and um, yeah, you know, I've been all over the place. So. I just was a little worried. That's all. Uh, I'm sorry. It hasn't been so long. So, do you plan to stay in town for a while? Um, I'm not really sure. I, I've got all this stuff I got to take care of back in Worcester. Oh, okay. So, yeah, I'm probably not going to be able to stay for more than like a day or so. It's um. That's that's all right. It, it's a long, you know, long, worthy story. So I'm not going to trouble you with it right now. Are you expecting someone? Well, who would I be expecting here? You just just keep looking around. Um, no, you know, I was just wondering if we could get some refreshments. Actually, Sammy, I kind of actually got to con confess something to you. The reason you haven't heard from me in a while is that um, I've kind of been unable to write on account of the fact that I was in prison for a while. You were what? Some time in, in prison, I guess. For, what? It was just, just for some bullshit. And what did you do? I didn't do anything, okay? It ever occurred to you that maybe I was wrong? <gasps> no. Well, c can I explain it? Like, oh my God, what, can Tony, I please, what yes. happened? I got in a fight in a bar, okay, down in Florida. But I wasn't the one who instigated it. But then they worked all this bullshit against me and I ended up spending a few months in prison. And I didn't write you because I just, I didn't want you to get all upset. I just figured you figured I was on the road for a while or something. I'm sorry, I realized it was a stupid thing to do. It's just I didn't want you to worry. But you know what? I can't go around all the time doing stuff or not doing stuff because it's going to make you worry. Because then I come back here, and I tell you about my fucking traumas, and then I get this wounded little, I let you down bullshit all the time. Okay? I just want to climb out from under it, but here I am back in the same fucking hole explaining myself to you. Can you stop cursing at me? Uh, I'm sorry. Okay, you know, I, I realize I'm basically in no position ever to say anything, but it's not like I'm down in some redneck bar having an argument with the stripper's boyfriend, and then the thought comes into my head, hey, you know what? Maybe this is a great time to really stick it to Sammy and get myself locked up for a couple months. I'm sorry, okay? Me too. I'm sorry too. You know, hey, welcome home, right? You don't write me for six months. I have no idea what I'm you are. I'm sorry. I don't know if you're dead or alive. I'm sorry. And then you show up out of nowhere and tell me that you were in jail. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I am sorry, Sammy. Okay? I'm really sorry. Sammy. What? I'm in the midst of a slight predicament. What do you need? Money? Gotta get back to Worcester. Okay, I got this girl back there, and she's in a bad situation, and I'm broke. 
just need to borrow some money. Okay, whatever you can spare. I'll pay you back. Pay you back, man. You know, I really wish mom were here. Yeah, me too. No, Terry, no one knows what to do with you anymore. I know where they're filled. Can I ask you something, Terry? Yeah. Do you go to church ever anymore? Sandy, can we please not talk about this shit? Well, do you? No, I don't. Can you tell me why not? I think it's primitive, okay? I think it's a fairy tale. Well, have you ever considered that that's what's making things so difficult for you? That you've lost hold of not just your religious feeling, but any kind of anchor, any kind of trust in anything. God, no wonder you drift around so much, Terry. What could ever stop you? How would you ever know if you found the right thing? No, I'm really not looking for anything right now, okay? Just trying to get on with it.